Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we're going to be starting a new grind. Two masters in team power league this time instead of solos. We already got the solos as I can show you um, on my profile here. Uh, but yeah, we already got the solo one. I just realized we can actually swap our badge to this new one, which means we play all 125 games. <laughs> Looks pretty epic. But yeah, we're looking to pick up the masters in team power league this season. So we're going to be starting off as always, showing you the best games from our push so far. Of course, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. Over 70% of you aren't subscribed, and we are less than 1,000 subscribers away from 50k, so make sure to subscribe. Of course, make sure you're using code TOM in the shop, and let's jump right into it. Okay, so jumping in to the first game. So this one's going to be Pit Stop then. Um, of course, it's going to be Heist, which, yeah, this is actually a newer addition into the competitive or the power league map pool obviously this obviously won the world finals 2019 so it's not a new map by any by any means here and you'll see we're actually going with two two of the same brawl as we actually won 2019 worlds with we're going with all the rico and of course the bull uh which was of course two of the brawlers we literally won the final game of worlds with i believe it was an 8 bit i believe i was playing the 8 bit uh, was the final brawler but yeah we definitely have a pretty good comp if you can pick bull on heist like you just want to go bull bull is so good on heist you want to go for that every time pretty much even though they have like two counters say with kalai and ems i just feel like bull is just so good on heist like you always want to pick bull i believe primo was banned and there was one other band but i can't quite remember that's super that you see I actually hit the collette a lot as well barley versus rico is not the best matchup for me i have to try and uh Keep swapping up where I'm shooting to just try and get a couple shots off. We are using the speed on Rico. Speed Rico right now is just so, so good. Going to get a couple clips off onto the save. D2 does a good job getting the kill there. Um, Barley's one shot. Going to make sure we secure that kill. Maybe a waste of a super, but I wanted to just double or just make sure that we got that kill. But uh, yeah, we have a stew thing in spawn here, which is really good. It allows us to just move up a lot quicker. Barley super. We're going to pinch this Colette and honestly just try and push this Barley. We need our speed here and we can start destroying them. We get our speed. M's is mid. We can't really push that because we're going to get slowed. So we're just going to super the M's. M's is going to go down. We are going to keep our speed here. Spen is just annoying them. We're going to continue to just get damage here. Um, obviously, we don't even need to bounce it. It's not going to give us anything extra. So we're just going to shoot straight for the safe. M's is in here, of course. Um, but not really doing much, to be honest. M's going to push up. Barley over there. Ben's just going to push up, I think, and go down here. So, yeah, this this situation here, not the best for us. Honestly, going to super that. Kind of a wasted super, but I managed to get some value on the collect just because of the speed. I could kind of change where I was firing to change onto the wall. And I get some get some nice damage on the collect. Well, well, a couple shots anyway here. Um, Colette's going to be very weak. But, yeah, my teammate's going to finish that there. So, uh, let's jump into the next one here. We definitely have the better comp, I would say. You know, you definitely want to make sure you go with aggros, especially in this meta in heist. You want to make sure you have at least one. So when they go at like an M's and a Collette, it's a bit more, a bit too control for me. I definitely like having, uh, again, the Rico as well. Rico is such a great pick in this meta. So I definitely, uh, I like, I love the Rico, love the Bull. And uh, yeah, definitely wouldn't let somebody have two of those on this map. Stu again, Stu hasn't, I mean, Stu like wasn't around when this map was uh, in competitive. But Stu, definitely not a bad pick for this map, I wouldn't say. Um, definitely going to be good against M's, Collette, of course, okay against Barley. We're just going to walk into all the shots, definitely need to work on our dodging with the speed. Don't tend to play too much Rico. I believe I got on the left here, and uh, D2's going to be pushing up on the right. So yeah, Collette's going to be going down, it looks like, here. Barley in mid as well, going to super that, make sure we get that kill, but Barley's one shot. Looks like we don't get the kill here. Um, M's decides not to super us here, but he's going to super us then. We're going to go down, it looks like D2 is on safe, got a really good amount of damage here. And yeah, 54%, obviously, we have a pretty big lead here. We're going to pick up super as well. Just got to be careful of this M shot. It's going to go for a super here. It's going to clip the barley. Also, M is going to be really weak as well. At this point, we're, we're pretty much one. So uh, I just I just push up. And uh, yeah, let my teammates do a ton of damage here. Even if I can't defend, my teammates can be able to do a ton of damage. Looks like we're on 1%. So uh, could have got pretty unlucky here. We're just going to be pushing up. Uh, and pinching this Rico or pinching the, the Colette. I'm getting pinched here. We're going to take out the Barley. Also hit the M's a little bit as well. D2 is going to go up. And that's going to wrap it up for the first game here. That's going to be a dub. So let's hop into the next one. Okay, so jumping into the next game then. So this one will be up against Nisso and actually some uh, really good players. So uh, yeah, this one's definitely going to be tough. It's going to be on this map, which I think is called Dueling Beetles. I'm not 100% sure though. I'm pretty sure it's Dueling Beetles. And uh, yeah, we have Stu here against Lou. Honestly, not the best matchup because we need to get our super. And yeah, we got our super here. 
Sprout is a really good pick on this map. Also Amber as well. Um, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure Bell was banned. I don't know. 100% though, we're going to get the kill down loot. Obviously a good start for us here. With just Surge being live. But Surge got kind of upgrade early here, which isn't the best. Obviously, you don't want to feed that Surge upgrade too early. But nevertheless, we're in a good position here. We just about can't get that shot off, so we are going to go down without picking up the kill. Looks like D2 actually um, super the Surge. Surge going down, Lou going down. Looks like D2 almost goes down to that ticker then. Uh, but manages to stay up. Lou and Mid are going to put that super down to prevent us getting more time. I'm just trying to... Wait for a good opportunity to push this Lou here, which I find here. We do miss quite a few shots, and then we are very weak, so definitely not in the best position. Tick's going to hit us once there. Uh, we waste our soup without getting it back, and yeah, this matchup's not the best for us, honestly, because we get outranged, and Lou can use that gadget as well. It's it's not the best for us. Lou's going to get super, but I, I know we need to push this here. Uh, we get stuck on the super. We're going to go down, it looks like, but we're going to eat that head to make sure Spen doesn't have to deal with that as well. Since it's a one-shot anyway, you might as well just tank that. And 50%... Uh, uh, we've already got 50%. We have around a 40% lead, but that's it's going very quickly here. You need to be careful. You need to make sure you keep control on this map, especially against a Lou um, and a Thrower. It's going to be pretty tough for us to push up. So we know that we're in a bad position here. We're just waiting for the Lou super to go on the left before we all make a push as a team. Um, but yeah, we're going to start pushing here as soon as D2 goes up. D2 does actually get hit by that tick head, which doesn't really help out. Tick in mid though is going to be going or should be going down here. And uh, we, get a, we get our super, but yeah, we've already gone down. So we're actually losing this position and uh, definitely doesn't look too good for us. We're going to get another gadget now and just giving us that speed. But I'm just going to run straight through mid here. I know that I need to make a play and uh, we dash away then. Going to get the kill, push this tick here, pretty much get a double kill. And that's going to bring us right back into the game here. And uh, yeah, so still on the right. Definitely in a good position to be, or good position to be in for sure. It's like Surge going to be going down as well. Also managed to get our super bag as well, which is really good. Going to keep aggro on this tick so they can't really get any control. Uh, looks like Lou going to be going down. I don't need really to place too much stew, but yeah, just healing up here. You see Spen's gone a bit more aggressive. And uh, yeah, he's allowing us to heal up. But looks like we need to heal up here. And we're getting spammed out by this tick. Definitely not the best position to be in here because they can actually come back in this situation. So yeah, they we need to get on. Otherwise, they're going to win. We are going to run up here with Stu. And we're going to have to get on clutch up and uh, should be able to get the win here. But it looks like 98 to 97%. We're going to pick up the win by 1%. Okay, we're getting into the next game then. So this one, um, yeah, so this one we swap up. We go Stu mid because we want to see about like I, I get countered by both lanes. So yeah, we want to go mid. Spen gets taken out early. We're going to use our super there or try and use our super. There. You see that they're both actually one shot. So we're going to push up here. Again, just going with mid. Obviously, that gadget's really going to help us out. Lou Super doesn't do too much because we have control of both lanes, so I can push through either of them. And uh, yeah, Tick has this gadget, not really sure why. I'm going to be pushing the Tick, but Surge takes us out, unfortunately. Lou has another Super. I feel like Lou Supers are just so easy to cycle now. I don't know what happened to them. <laughs> it feels like Lou gets so many Super. Lou is actually uh, in there, though. Going to pick up that kill. And then this was obviously one shot in mid. Going to use our Super. Uh, we get it back. Obviously, it's not like a tower pull. You just get it back instantly. So you don't really need to do or worry about wasting stew supers too much. Looks like we're just going to push here. That's going to be a nice double kill from D2. He needs to heal up here. I'm going to try and keep some aggression so that, you know, my teammates can uh, get the zone if, they, uh, if they're just staying there. But yeah, Lou gets super here. So obviously, this is a pretty tough situation to be in. But as you can see, we are just destroying them right now. Uh, Tick and Surge going to be going down. Lou going to be going down in one shot as well. We do have a Lou super in the mid, so it's not ideal. That wall there, I don't know if Spen can hit, like get the full wall off there. Uh, we're just going to keep keep the pressure up here. Honestly, probably should have gone to the left thinking about that now because uh, they're all on the right and could have definitely had a lot of pressure. But we're in a really good situation here. They're all one shot. Um, looks like Lou going to be going down here. Um, Nisso's actually one shot, D2's just gonna tank that head, but yeah, we're gonna push through, kind of all timing it a little bit too much, potentially, and just get as much time as possible. Tick head here, looks like they're both gonna be going down, and it is just the Lou here. D2's gonna go on and look for the kill, looks like he is gonna be able to get the time here, and that's gonna be the win in the final game. Okay, that's gonna wrap up the video, hope you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.